could you just talk a little bit about your two partners yes. that co-wrote the book with you and what you, how you all supported each other cool. in an effort to tell you when you get to college, you got to find people like you, like-minded people. You have to find people. There will always be fun people. They going to make themselves present. You'll see that the first day of school. But you have to partner yourself with people who want to go somewhere, people who want to do something, and people who are going to work hard. I stopped in college. So my, my best friend, uh, Dr. Max Deer, is a board-certified cardiothoracic anesthesiologist. My other best friend, uh, Dr. Joseph Simeon, is a board-certified OBGYN, just like me. We went down to Xavier, who uh, we all struggled. You know, some of those first two months, all of us were struggling. Uh, I met uh, Dr. Madeer. We were in, basically, we saw each other in class. He was from New York, I was from Chicago. You know, we talked about sports here and there, but, you know, we weren't really close. It was like we were coming out of, like, a chemistry class, like, doing bad. We saw each other in the library, and we started talking, like, look, you know, we struggling, man. We, if we, we join together, we can do this. I was like, man, when you go home, when, when you leave the library, he was like, man, I just leave here to go brush my teeth, and I'm going back. I was the same way. So when we saw each other, we, we rocked. It was like, all right, man, if I got somebody with me, somebody to have my back, that we could push, man. We start studying. And then a couple weeks later, Dr. Joseph Simeon was sitting there at a, at, a, at a desk. We looked at him, we started talking, same thing. You know, so we met our fr freshman year, Xavier. We just were like, man, we just want to be doctors. I said, we want to be doctors, we want to make it, we got to get through this. We're struggling, but we support each other, we can do it. That's what we did. So every day we had a schedule. We had a schedule of when we gonna hit the library, how long we gonna be in there. If I didn't know something, that means nobody. If I failed the test or if they failed the test, we all failed the test. You like you gotta have somebody that's completely honest with you to say, look, you're not doing this. You're not doing that right. You need to get this concept. We're not gonna get past this concept. Or go to the next thing until you get this. And we're gonna keep drilling. Sometimes we be on this concept for like three hours until one person got it and you got it. All right, now let's move. And you're gonna test us back on this tomorrow. So you need them type of people around you. You don't need somebody to say, all right, man, because uh, let's, let's go to the park. Let's go, you know, let's go do X, Y, Z. Let's go sit out on the yard and chill. We don't need to study. You don't need that. You need somebody that's going to be completely driven, just like yourself, that's going to push you when you wanna be lazy, because you will wanna be lazy sometimes. You need somebody to say, man, nah. You can do that later. You need to get out. You don't need books right now. Not to say I didn't party, not to say I didn't have a good time, but I had people around me that said, look, we're going to go to this party on Saturday. From Monday through Friday, we putting in six hours a day. And then even on Friday, and then we can go to this party on Saturday. If we miss one of the days, we're not going to. You need that. you got to have somebody to push.